<laughs> I have something to tell you about myself, and I wrote it down. It rhymes. <laughs> I'm pregnant, but it's not what you think. It's not from a night of too much drink. It's not even because of a dink. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have this reverse shrink? It's really quite something, quite something else. You see, I'm giving birth to myself. Like a fair trade bowl that's been brewing inside, and with no light to seek, it's been hunched in a hide. But the time has come to follow the guide. Open eyes now, open heart, vagina. <laughs> something, quite something else. I'm giving birth to myself. Three, oh, there's a little bug in there. Even worse critters in there. The reason I've decided to give birth is because I've heard that people, mostly women, um, lose a few pounds after giving birth. And so I figured maybe that would be a good place to start because <laughs> I've been dieting since I was eight years old and it hasn't worked. You see, as I was growing up, I was always the biggest. I've got like size 10 feet. I've got huge hands. I'm just big. I'm sturdy and strong and I'm big. But for some reason, I thought this was wrong and I thought it was just going to keep going. So at eight years old, I said, Mom. How big am I going to get? <laughs> and her and her loving mother ways tried to say the best thing, the best answer. It's not her fault that I misconstrued it. She said, well, honey, probably when you're the size, when you're 12 years old, that's the size you're going to be for the rest of your life. Which, that's probably when my skeleton would stop growing so much. And my body type would be set. But in my mind, like, okay, by the time I'm 12, <coughs> I need to be perfect, because that's what I'm going to be forever. So at eight years old, I figured I had four years to get perfect. <gasps> Shit! <laughs> <laughs> I was a swearing child, but I tried to hide it. Just one time, I gave my dad the finger. I thought I hit it. But he was still invisible region. <coughs> he was passing by. I don't even know why I was giving him the finger. I gave him the finger a lot. <laughs> he and I just butt heads. We're totally different and in the ways we're the same I fucking hate. I call him Papa Grumple Fart. <laughs> and he knows it. That's what he's addressed to when I mail. <laughs> My mom gets Mama Grumple Fart by default, but she's not as much of a fun ruiner. Anyway, my dad's always been my fun ruiner. So he was ruining some kind of fun on this day. <laughs> Again, I was about probably eight years old. So here he is, ruining, his, ruining my fun and just, just going to walk along and proceed with his day. Fuck, you're gonna fucking ruin my fun and then just fucking take off? No. Yeah. So I start to give him the finger. Thinking, oh, he'll be past that corner in a split second. But he wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> he was just passing the corner of the wall. But this eye was still <laughs> on this side of the room that I was in. <laughs> and the iris and the other pupil part that actually detects vision and <laughs> objects was concentrated on me. Just as I was bringing up the birds. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is what I saw. <laughs> Go to your room, Miss Muffet. He proceeded with his day. <laughs> I fucking 
love my room. <laughs> <laughs> this is my place, guys. It's my fucking room. And I'm the star of the show. Right? My bed sets the stage. And it's bouncy, so I get more airlift in my dance moves. <laughs> and I put on shows. And I've got merch. <laughs> it's not conventional merch that you would expect at such a show. Because I haven't created anything yet that's tangible. But I do have rocks. So I set the task to myself to create rock salt that I can sell. <laughs> so I choose the perfect rocks that will represent the performance that will go on in this room. <laughs> oh yes, this one's perfect. Yes. I place it. I, I choose them by texture sometimes, by sound, by how they interact together. <laughs> if they called, oh, sometimes they called. Combinations of rocks. I put them in the mug. I whisper a little tune in there. <laughs> Shake it up. Yes! Perfect. I take out the mummy rocks, and I've got a little bit of debris. Magic debris. That is the rock salt that I'm going to market. <laughs> containers and then I put them at the table. I know that rocks can be very expensive on their own and I don't need anybody going into a payment plan for this, but these are reasonably priced <laughs> varieties of rock salts. <laughs> and then I become the rock star. <laughs>
eight anymore. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's, it's really 